I will uh, talk about uh, using HTML and CSS in the React Pi. So uh, let's start. So I have created a file which is like something like this: HTML, CSS, uh, React dot Pi. And uh, and then what I wanted to do is I have to activate uh, my environment. So I will write source uh, React Pi. Bing, activate. Okay. So it will activate uh, my environment. So I will go to the folder that I have created. The folder name is uh, React Pi underscore tutorial. So I will write React Pi underscore tutorial. So uh, and I put ls here. So I can see all this uh, HTML and CSS code. So I will write Python here and then HTML CSS and press enter. So it had run the code. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open this URL. So let's see what happened. So it said hello world here. So okay, so as as we know how to write HTML code like HTML H1 something like that. So now I want to do something different. So this is HTML sections. So I want to put uh, some coloring or height and width here. Let's see is it working or not. So for that, what I have to do, I have to give something like this, and I have to put some style here. And then in that style, I have to put something like that. So uh, this is uh, one uh, way to like, do that, basically. So uh, this is how I can write a style in HTML. Even I can use some color or uh, just uh, let's say text uh, color or I can say what it is I, I don't know CSS actually so what I can do is maybe color only so maybe color could be uh, red or something like that so if I save it and if I rerun this let's see what what happened so I'm going to run this again and if I go back to the URL if you see that it's worked so the uh, the text had been uh, going to be read so this is how we can easily work um, like easily uh, style the HTML uh, I mean the HTML we have right in the Python code uh, uh, I think uh, that's good enough for today but still uh, like you can explore many more but I feel like that okay this is how you can style the system like mm, uh, this is an HTML code h1 tag in the h1 tag in, uh, that's that's a dictionary so in that dictionary we can add style in the style style is also a dictionary so in that dictionary we can put all the mm, all the attributes name and their values as well so it will work in this way so that's it for now